Hey everyone, Mike here. Um, I know that you have uh, seen at least a half dozen different techniques of welding or splicing uh, filament together. And I, I want to show you today, uh, it wasn't really an epiphany or anything, because I, I've been doing this for years. I mean, for at least 30, maybe 40 years with fly line. My fly fishing, I fly fish, so the line is, is a, it's got pl a plastic coating on it <clears throat> to make the line heavier because the line is what is actually cast your bait. Um, so what has happened over the years is they started putting on what's called a welded loop. And this right here is a welded loop. This is the fly line, all right? And then what happens is the, the line is brought back on itself with a piece of um, with a piece of uh, heat, heat shrink tube that was that's shoved up in there, and then you leave a little um, loop here, and then you take a, a match or a candle or something, and it melts it together, and you go and you. Just, squeeze it and run it together like this and then peel off the um, <clears throat> the uh, heat shrink tube. So with that thought, I, th I was thinking, well, maybe maybe I could do the same thing with the um, with with the filament. And but before I actually came up with that idea, I tried a lot of the ones that I saw on um, on YouTube and you, you know everything from using aluminum and wrapping it around and making it that one seemed to work okay but it still didn't work as well as the one I'm going to show you here in a few minutes. There's also <clears throat> this tool here and this is actually a pretty nifty tool but the problem with this tool is as you can see when you heat up <clears throat> the filament with your lighter up underneath and you, then you squeeze them together you get this mushrooming in here and that's why this thing comes apart because you, you can't pull this out unless you loosen these two screws here open up the the uh, jig and pull the line out and then you have to use a pair of nippers to go in and 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 try to trim it up as close to the to the filament as possible what I do is <clears throat> with this silicone tubing is I will cut about a one inch length off of off of it and then what we're going to do just to demonstrate it <clears throat> is I'll cut this filament and I a lot of people cut them at, at an angle they'll cut cut at an angle like so but I'm going to cut this one straight across just because it'll help butt these things up together better. And then what you do is, you gotta be careful of that iron because it's hot, is I, I run the filament right down the middle. Now this filament uh, fits perfectly. Actually, it's a the filament's a little bit larger diameter, outside diameter, than the inside diameter of this tubing. So it fits very snug down inside that tubing. And so what I do is I run the tubing all the way in. There we are right there. Okay, so with that, with the filament touching inside that tube, what I'm going to be able to do now is take my iron and just lay it on the bottom for a second until, may, until, the, uh, until your filament starts to droop on, that, on one end, on the other end that you're holding it and then just spin it around just like this just back and forth until it until you get it and then you can take this and this is hot you want to force it back on top back back in so that it really welds those two hot pieces are welding right up against one another and then you'll, you'll see some little air bubbles in here. So what you're going to want to do is go back over with your iron, and your soldering iron, 
and take those bubbles out by just running the iron across the silicone tubing just like that. You, you should have been able to see it all disappear. All right. So now with it with it gone, I'll take it and just lightly rub it round just like this. Okay? And then what I'll do is I'll take a can of air and it has the pro propellant in it. So what you want to do is turn it upside down so that the propellant comes out. That stuff is very cold and it will it will finish off the uh, the, the fusing of this weld. So we'll go back to this other view here. So now you can see that that's a pretty solid, um, see if I can stay in the center, that's a pretty solid uh, black that goes all the way through the tubing. So now to get it off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an X-Acto knife. You want to make sure that the X-Acto knife is very, very sharp. And then you can lay it down, take the knife, and then run it right down the center the best that you can. Don't worry if you jump off of it a little bit. There. And then just take and find the end and then just peel, peel it off. And then that's your finished product right there. No mushrooming, no elephant's foot. It's um, it, it's very, it, it looks, I dare anybody, even, it, it, this video really doesn't do it justice, but if you, if you, um, if you were just, if you were here and seen it, um, you would see that it's, it's, it's got about as perfect of a, um, a weld as you can possibly get. Now, I will say that it took me probably about three or four times of practicing using this um, iron, but it, even in my very first one, it it still turned out um, it still turned out pretty good. Um, so all I'm saying is this might be a new way for you to give it a try without spending a lot of money and trying to go with a very complicated. Uh, system of fixtures and heaters and and all of that stuff where all, all you need is a, a soldering iron, nippers that you already have, uh, exactly a knife that you probably should already have. Anyway, I if, if you give this a try, comment below in the video or if you see this on one of the uh, Facebook pages or something, just you know give a comment down there and um, let me see yours. Let me see how well you're able to put two pieces of filament together in such a way that you can put a calipers on here and run it across and you don't have any distortion at all. That's what we're looking for is no distortion. This is Mike. Until the next video, we'll catch you later.